What's going on guys, Sir and a great day today and today we are back to talk about some more of my most anticipated things for 2023. My last video was my most anticipated anime series, so today we are talking about my top 5 most anticipated anime movies. I do have one honourable mention and that is Demon Slayer to the Swordsmith Village. This is the theatrical release that combines the last two episodes of the Entertainment District arc with the uh, premiere first episode of the Swordsmith Village arc. Now this would be way higher on my list. The problem is, it's not got a confirmed UK release date yet, so I don't even know whether I'm going to get the chance to see it. If this changes within the next month or so and we get like a confirmed release date as to when it's going to release in the UK, of course this will shoot up most anticipated. It will probably go to like number two or something like that. But as it stands, it's very difficult to get too excited for it when I don't even know if I'm going to get the chance to watch it. Before I get into my top five though, I want to hear your most anticipated, so head on down to the comment section below and let me know. And while you're there, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content, and you want to stay up to date with these best of 2022 lists and most anticipated of 2023 lists. Kicking off the top five, we do have Black Clover, Sword of the Wizard King. This is the very first Black Clover movie. I haven't even seen this series yet, but I do plan to watch it before the film releases. Black Clover just seems like something I will really enjoy, and the trailers for this film so far look really solid. It just looks like it's going to be a really exciting shonen film with a lot of hype-inducing moments and action within there. Based on how much I end up actually being excited for this film will depend on how much I do enjoy Black Clover, so if I absolutely hate the series, which I probably won't, but if I do, it will drop out the top 5. If I love the series, it will probably go up a notch. At number 4 is The 7 Deadly Sins, Grudge of Edinburgh Part 2. I'm a big fan and defender of The 7 Deadly Sins anime series. If you've kept up with my channel for a while, you'll know that I adore the series, I adore the characters, all that kind of stuff. So I will always be excited for anything new to come out of this franchise. Part 1 was surprisingly a lot better than anticipated, whether that's through the story, characters, or the massive change in animation to CGI. Any issues that I did have in Part 1, mainly when it comes to the villain, can easily be fixed in Part 2, so... Fingers crossed it manages to wrap up this story nicely and deliver a satisfying duology of Seven Deadly Sins films. At number 3 is Spy Family the Movie. Spy Family is one of my comfort anime and minus spoilers for my best anime series of 2022 list which I haven't done as of yet, it's up there as one of my favourites of last year. However, I never expected that we'd be getting a movie for this because it's not the kind of series that lends itself to that. As it stands we have no idea what it's going to be about but the mangaka will be involved in crafting the story which is enough for me to get excited. The big plus of it all though is just getting to see the forges on the big screen. That alone is going to be worth the price of admission. Our runner-up in second place is The Tunnel to Summer, The Exit of Goodbyes. This is one that's come to my attention a bit more recently. It's based on a light novel of the same name, and the premise has me hooked. It sounds very Makoto Shinkai-esque, which you know, we'll talk about pretty soon as well, with its sci-fi twist on a, a coming-of-age story about high school students. I'm not going to go into what the film is about because you know if you want to read the synopsis go ahead but i feel like with all these kind of films it's more fun to go into it not actually knowing anything at all i'm not overly familiar with the director's other work but he did recently direct all 12 episodes of bleach thousand year blood war which i didn't watch because i haven't watched any of bleach so it wouldn't make sense to watch the final arc but i've heard nothing but great things about it this whole film just sounds right up my alley so hopefully it can deliver but coming in first place is Suzume. Formerly titled Suzume no Tojimari, Makoto Shinkai is directing this film, and he directed my second favourite anime film of all time in Your Name. And despite the one major issue that I have with Weathering With You, that is also a great film as well. As with this director's entire filmography, the animation is stunning. This is going to be his best looking film yet, without a doubt, just based on the trailers. And speaking of those trailers, they have been utterly phenomenal. And they've kept the story under wraps for the most part. All I know about it so far is that the story has has something to do with doors that possibly will lead to other worlds and natural disasters are involved in some ways well which has kind of become a trademark of Makoto Shinkai. There's also a cat and a sentient chair. I have no idea how they're possibly going to tie into the story but I am very intrigued to see how. I trust Shinkai with every fibre of my being to deliver an incredible film and I won't be surprised if this turns out to be his best work yet. So those were my five most anticipated anime movies of 2023. Before I get out of here I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you are a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content and you're excited for my most anticipated videos yet to come and also my best of 2022 list yet to come, make sure you are subscribed because we've got best anime series 
Anime Movies Ranked of 2022 and Best Video Games. And then I'm going to have my top 10 most anticipated video games of 2023. And if you want to check out my top 10 most anticipated anime series of 2023, that video is already up and I will leave it linked at the end of the video. Above all else though, I want to hear about the anime movies that you're excited for in 2023. So head on down to the comment section below and tell me all about them. Are you looking forward to the Slime Isekai film that's I believe coming out in like a couple of weeks time? Are there any other films that are coming out maybe later in the year that I've not mentioned on here? you guys are excited for i know we're getting the kaguya-sama love is war film coming which i know there's a lot of big fans of that series i've never personally seen it but yeah i know there's gonna be a lot of people looking forward to that as always thank you so much for tuning into mchat today and i'll see you all in the next video